Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you with the weekly Common Sense MD podcast. Today I'm, today I'm excited because I have something that's back, HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. Probably the best rapid weight loss tool that I've used in my 35 years of practice. I've done thousands of people on this diet, and I like it. It's controversial, but you have to have, number one, the real stuff, and then know what you're doing. Plus, you have to figure out why the person is obese or struggling with weight loss in certain places, and then you have to figure out how to keep it off. So hopefully we're good at doing that. But um, we really haven't been able to use it for the last year or so because the supply dried up. Um, you know, it was really um, only the homeopathic drops that, that most people were using in the last year or so, and we felt that they just don't work that good. You really need the real stuff from a U.S. source, which we now have uh, through injections, and it really works very, very well. So what is HCG? It's a natural hormone that's produced in the body when a woman's pregnant, human chorionic gonadotropin. And it's also a fertility drug. You know, for, it's not really a weight loss drug. It's a fertility drug. And that's how they came about finding that it worked for weight loss. Um, as a matter of fact, it was about 50 years when Dr. Simeon, um, an Italian physician that was based in London, um, he was an endocrinologist. Couldn't you know? He was fascinated with uh, hormones and also obesity, so he couldn't figure out why that these starving, emaciated women were given to birth were giving birth to eight, nine pound healthy babies. Well, it it turns out it was because of the hormone HCG. So, um, and he was also fascinated by why people were obese and could not lose weight. You know, obesity is a really complex metabolic problem. It's not calories in, calories out. There's so many myths about obesity. It has nothing to do with laziness or willpower, either one. Now, what you eat and what your hormones look like, yes. But the fact is most people need help to lose weight. And this has been a great tool for us throughout the years in helping people. Um, it's not the total answer. Um, and it's intense. It's not easy, but um, you can talk to many, many of our patients that that uh, they just love it, and they've asked for it within the last year, and we just haven't had it. Um, like I say, the over-the-counter um, stuff, the homeopathic uh, drops. They, they number one, they're not legal. Um, the approved HCG injections are legal. For a physician to use. Now, they're not approved for weight loss um, by the FDA, but um, it is approved for fertility, and thereby doctors, physicians can use it off label like we do so many other things. Um, so, we're getting it from a great source in the United States. You have to be careful that with injectables, and I'm just not going to risk one that's not um, very, very safe for you. And then we monitor everything. Um, but we've used it thousands of times very safely. It's not for everyone uh, because it is a 500-calorie diet. And there are those that say, well, you know, you can't survive on a 500-calorie diet. Well, you can't forever, but you can for a very short period of time. You know, most of the people that we work with, believe me, they can, they can survive on a 500-calorie diet. That's no problem. Um, which you would lose weight with anyway. But you'd be starving, and you'd lose muscle, not fat. Um, the, the main thing about HCG is that it's a fast way to lose weight. Now, I, I do like fast weight loss because it's encouraging. You know, at the end of a 24, 26-day period, if you're off a lot of your medicines for metabolic syndrome, like your blood pressure medicines, your diabetes medicines, which need to be adjusted during this, of course, then, and you feel great, you're more likely to keep it off, especially if we give you the tools, which we now have even more of them, and I'll talk about that in a minute, to keep it off. So 
If you're willing, it's certainly a great way to start. And that's what it is. It's just a great start. And most people I know that are obese need help with this. They cannot do it on their own. Um, but I really like it a lot. Um, you know, it really kind of resets your hypothalamus. It's kind of like your temperature gauge. Your body gets accustomed to a certain weight, which I call a set point. And so if you just lower your calories, your body just lowers its metabolism. So what you need to do is reset that thermostat to a lower weight point. And that's the beauty of this thing and how it works. Um, and I like it too because um, it gets rid of the abnormal stored banked fat first. Otherwise, that, that's the last thing to go. If you've struggled with getting weight off your belly or maybe hips, you know, it's really hard to do. That's the last thing that goes. With HCG, it's the first thing that goes. Now, it's a very specific diet. It's been worked out over 55, 60 years now, and certain things work, so you do need to stick the original HCG diet plan. There's a reason why certain foods aren't on there and certain foods are on there because it's been worked out over decades, and that's found to have been the best. And I've certainly played around a little bit with it with my patients on different uh, formulations, and I think the original works the best. Um, but like I say, it's not for everybody. It's not cheap. If you get the real stuff, you know, it's kind of expensive, but it's a really good uh, way to reset. I have certain people that do it once a year or used to when I could get it. Now I can get it. So um, I like fast weight loss. It really um, it works with your hypothalamus to release those fat stores uh, from places that otherwise it's very hard to release it from. And your body uses that fat for energy. Um, so you, you don't get hungry. That's the way to know if you're really on a real HCG. You just don't get hungry with it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's different than any other weight loss thing I've ever seen. Um, it helps regulate that hunger through your hypothalamus. Um, Dr. Simeon's was a genius with this stuff and um, used it many, many thousands of times and was very... Uh, successful with it. It seems like this diet gets popular, falls off, gets popular, falls off. You know, the FDA is not so crazy about it, but, you know, they're, they're not so crazy about a lot of stuff that works. Um, and they're crazy about a lot of stuff that doesn't work. So it needs to be between the physician and the patient, like I've stated many times before. Um, so um, the first thing we do when we see you at Performance Medicine is evaluate your metabolism and your hormones. Everybody's different. Almost everybody that struggles with obesity needs a tool to help them get there. That's something I've learned over the years. Um, so, you know, the most important part of this for me and my patients is what happens afterwards. I mean, we know HCG is going to work. And it's very safe. It doesn't cause cancer. You, you may be tired with this thing. The most common side effect I see is fatigue. So you really don't want to work out when you're on the HCG program. Like I said, it's usually a 26-day thing. The first two days are low days. So it's really 24 days of being on the 500-calorie diet. Now, sometimes if you're humming along great, I'll extend it to 40 days. And the original diet was actually 400 days. Um, but a lot of times I find that I don't need the 40, 40 days. But um, in any event, um, the most important part is keeping the weight off. And that's a complaint you hear about HCG. Yeah, it works, but then you gain weight back, or I, I gain even more weight back. That's because you didn't really figure out your hormones and your metabolism, and you didn't change something. You know, you need, And you may need a tool to sustain that. And now we, that we have semiglutide, i.e. Ozempic and partners, uh, that's a good way to make your insulin work better and to delay gastric emptying. So now we have a, a great new tool that we really didn't have before to help you maintain that weight loss. So I think that's going to be a, almost a game changer. It already has been, but HCG 
to start you for a lot of people is going to be something that they definitely want to do. Um, but anyway, so you have to you have to make changes. I'm always for a, a low carb, intermittent fasting type diet style. Now everybody's different, and their carb tolerance is different, certainly. Um, so I'm really excited about this. You know, it's especially you know what we've been through the last two years with COVID, and realizing that COVID was a killer of obese people and also probably low vitamin D people, but it, it was a, a killer of the obese, basically, and the elderly, immunocompromised, uh, pre-existing. And, you know, they're predicting that we may have another wave in the fall. Of course, Dr. Fauci is predicting this. Um, you know, how they, how they can predict and know this beforehand, it makes you kind of wonder, doesn't it? But in any event, we have to prepare our immune systems and our bodies to be ready. We weren't ready before. Nobody was ready for that COVID pandemic. And so you need to get ready yourself and take care of your own body so that when we have viruses, um, we're able to, through our healthy immune system, to fight them off. And as you know, obesity is, I think, the major problem we have in our country with our health care system. I mean, we, our health care system would not even be in trouble fiscally if everybody weighed what they did back in the 1960s. We wouldn't even have a health care problem. And I'm talking cancer, heart disease, diabetes, you know, joint replacements, fatigue, depression, all the stuff that kind of goes with it. So um, we'll help you figure this out. Obesity is a complex disease. It's a chronic disease, needed to be, needs to be treated in most people for a lifetime. And we do have the tools to do this. HCG is just a great way to start it and then continue it so you'll be healthy. You'll be able to feel good, have energy, be able to move around like you're supposed to as you age. So I'm excited about HCG, and I'm excited even more about the follow-up tools that we now have for this. So if you have a question or want to come talk about HCG or some of the other things we do, uh, you know, look at our website, performancemedicine.net, or come into the office even better. Thanks. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.